episode of the McBrothers. For those of you new to the show, of course, I'm Marcus. This is my brother Cliff. What's up? <laughs> this week on the McBrothers, we are going to review the Niners Grill. And we have some uh, interesting news on the Niners Grill, which you'll see later. We're going to actually take you over there. We're going to show you the innards, the innards of the Niners Grill. And uh, I'm actually going to see if I can get the manager to speak to you as well. So we'll see how that plays out. For our new segments, which we just started a episode or two ago, is the movie news and never get tired of that. So for the movie news, uh, Cliff and I were actually reading up on J.J. Abrams, the director of the first Star Trek movie. And Lost, right? He did Lost? Yeah. Apparently he's under pressure to make Star Trek II 3D. I, of course, got all concerned. Oh, 3D! <laughs> and Cliff uh, responded with, what's wrong with that? So actually, I don't... I'm torn. Well, I don't mind 3D movies. I like them. I just, as long as they don't just make excuses to have... 3D effects that wouldn't normally be in the movie throughout the whole movie to be gimmicky. Yeah, exactly. Which, you know, so uh, we'll keep you posted on whether or not they're going to make it into a 3D movie or not. You know, J.J. Abrams also made Alias. You know, I actually got into that show for like a little bit, but then I became bored with it really fast. Let's review Alias real quick. I actually purchased the first season of Alias. <laughs> Was there more than one season of Aliens? Yes. Really? And I never found. I never made it through the first season. <laughs> I made it through like three discs, and then just couldn't stay awake through another episode. You know what? On that same note of Alias, because I believe uh, this show would uh, somewhat compare, is a new show called Nikita, and I've actually gotten into that. Now, granted, of course, that's the. It's a a show that originated in France, La Femme Nikita, for those of you that know, French movie, but they French. actually, yeah, the French. I don't even like French fries, I eat Freedom Fries. That's right, baby, Freedom Fries! Freedom Toast. <laughs> freedom Toast. <laughs> freedom Bread. <laughs> we just had some Freedom Bread tonight. But and it's uh, not French's mustard, it's Freedom's mustard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of the company. It has nothing to do with French, I don't think. They make that in Springfield, Missouri, by the way. There's a French's mustard plant right there. Really? Yeah. Did you go to it? I drove by it. I didn't go to it. <laughs> Made in the USA. USA! <laughs> but if you remember La Femme Nikita, it was actually a movie, I want to say late 80s. <laughs> If he is showing his disdain for my commentary right now. Oh, I just... If I remember a French movie from the 80s. No, 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 I'm talking about the remake. They actually made oh. a point of no return with Bridget Fonda, where she played that spy woman that was recruited and trained. 
I was going to say that I wouldn't watch that movie because she's a communist sympathizer, but then I realized I was thinking of Jane Fonda. Yeah, Jane Fonda's the whore. Bridget Fonda's alright. Did she come from the loins of a communist sympathizer? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Touche. <laughs> But so they've revamped the series and called, and now it's just Nikita, and I've actually come to really enjoy that show. So it's I've seen it's it. it's just something to keep in mind if you have nothing to watch. I don't even know what day it comes out to be honest with you, but I watch it. it comes on the CW, which is surprising because the CW usually has garbage shows. I like Supernatural. I do not like Supernatural. I like that show. I like Smallville. I. Have even though I will admit the last, like, three seasons have seriously gone downhill, but I still love the show. I saw, like, the first three discs of season one, because <laughs> Marcus <laughs> brought them over to, for me to watch, and then he never brought any over, so I've never seen any other Smallville. <laughs> Do uh, Clark and uh, Lana make it? <laughs> no. Spoiler alert. No, they don't make it. But that's our... Uh, <laughs> That's our entertainment news for this particular week. Join us next week. We'll give you some more entertainment news. I never get tired of when I go to the bank, and all I have to do is deposit my paycheck in the ATM or withdraw $20. And it's going to take me literally maybe one minute, and that's just waiting on the machine to process. I never get tired of there being one car in front of me and me having to sit there for seven minutes while they screw around with the ATM. Like this. <laughs> what button do I press? It's an ATM. They haven't changed their general operation since I've been alive. Get with the program, people. I should not spend seven minutes waiting for you to take out $20 when I can go up there and do it in 40 seconds. <laughs> and anybody who's ever been behind this guy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. I'm in and out of that bad boy. But doesn't that just drive you nuts? Yes. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. God I just, help you if you have to sit behind two cars. I just want to go up there and ask them what they need and do it for them. <laughs> There's your fucking money. There's your money. card. Now get the hell on. <laughs> Next! <laughs> <laughs> for that second car. <laughs> you might as well break out a book. Really? I, I sit there and I surf Facebook and do updates on my phone and read the internet. <laughs> because I have that much time sometimes for one or two cars to go at the ATM. You know, I've actually been on the phone with Cliff before, and he's told me at the ATM, 20 minutes later, he's like, dude, guess what, I'm finally at the ATM. I'm like, oh my god. Because I had to wait for like three or four cars. <laughs> for me, my segment, I'll never get tired of that, is... I never get tired of never being able to reach a live person on any customer service call I ever make. What happened to the actual personnel that would answer the phone and talk to you? It's always, press 1 for blah blah blah, press 2 for blah blah, uh, and you know, God help you if you need number 9 because you're going to be sitting there for days, and then when you push 9 for, let's say, Parts department. <laughs> as soon as you press nine, they get the hold music for a minute, and then thank you for calling the parts department. Press one for <laughs> this. Press two for blah blah blah. So I just never get tired of never being able to f speak to a, a real person on the phone. That's what I never get tired of. You know, for those of you that don't know, I'm an advanced tech support agent, and I'm usually the person that actually fixes stuff at my company. By the time they go through that system and talk to the first person for God knows how long, they could be on the phone 30 minutes before they get to me for just to fix it. There you go. You heard it from the horse's mouth. And no, that doesn't mean I just called you a horse. I called you a horse. That's true. So anyway, what do you say uh, we head on over to the Niners Grill and show you that little bad boy? We'll give that a, a review for you. I hope it works out. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright guys, so we will see you next time on the Big Brothers. Alright guys, here we are at the Niners Grill. As you can see, it's a nice small place, quaint. Let's go check it on the inside. Let's go in.
as you can see, it's a nice, they got a few TVs, a little Miller Lite sign, TVs for even, nice tables, it's not, obviously not a, a suit and tie affair. There's the menu. As you can see, the it's kind of far away, but the prices are very reasonable. Cheeseburger, $4.99. You know, bacon cheeseburger, $5.49. Get chips. I also have sandwiches, whole boys, Philly cheesesteaks. So, it's got a lot of awesome food. And Cliff and I are about to order it. See, so you order here. Then you walk over here. And this is where you'd pick up your food. See? Hi guys, hi, this is Bibi. She's hi. the manager of Niners Grill. She's gonna actually tell you where Niners came from because it has nothing to do with the 40 Niners, which I think. It has nothing to do with football. Actually, we weigh out our patties every day fresh to nine ounces, uh, hand farm, every single day. So you're getting a fresh nine ounce patty. That's where it comes from. Niners so, Grill. So there you go, guys. I'll tell them where it is real quick. Black Hawk, Houston, Texas. Alright guys, so make sure you come and check out Niners Grill, the food is awesome. Thank you.